Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over with Q4 of Weekly Contest 232, maximum score of a good array. Um, I think they just get lazy. I mean, this is, it took a long time for me to actually just read this problem um, because I, I don't know, what, what, what is a good array? Can you say anything else? Can you use any other sort of adjective? Anyway, I'm just kidding anyway. It doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem and other problems. Um, yeah, so this one, the idea is that it's just greedy, to be honest. Um, so basically, you have this idea, you know, you have this array. Well, I do record this live, so if I didn't edit that out, then, well, you know. Um, but yeah, but let's say you have this array, you know, you can actually, um, yeah, you can actually change it to an array that is, you know, Basically, what, what is a good array, right? A good array is if it contains the index k. And so then f starting from that index, let's say 7, we just go um, myotonic, you know, we take the min starting from there, right? So that means 7, 4, 4 to the right, and then uh, 1, 3, oops, 3, 7 to the left, right? Because starting from the seven it gets smaller 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 because it only cares about what the minimum number is right and once you kind of have this array once you're able to rephrase this then it's just greedy because basically you start with seven okay what's the next number to expand well it never makes sense to go to three when you have a four you know for length two you always have you know just go for the greedy one uh for length three you go seven four four and then for length four you go seven you know you add the three and so forth. So this is very greedy. You basically um, have a two pointer system to to calculate, you know, the, to greedily add with one at a time and then calculate the score for that. And then that way you always get the optimal score for, a, for each length. And then for each length, you just, you know, take the max out of all those. So I'll go over my code real quick. Um, and I'll make this smaller so you can kind of see it in one screen, roughly maybe. Hmm. But yeah, but basically, yeah, I just said I have a best array that just looks at the minimum going from the the index k, and yeah, this is just going left, this is going right to set the minimum. Uh, this is hopefully this is makes sense, and then this is actually I don't I I feel like this is a little bit easier than I would imagine. Um, but yeah, um. But yeah, it, you know, while this is true, I go to the left, I go to the right. Um, you know, I greedily, you know, if we have the left endpoint, we move the right up. If we have the right endpoint, then we move the left up. Otherwise, we take the bigger, we take the number that's bigger, and then we add it to the thing. Um, and and that's pretty much this is to move the po the two pointers. Um, so you start from the middle at one uh, length one, and then slowly you make length two, length three. You know, moving left or right, whichever pointer, um, and then at the way end, or uh, I put it in the beginning. But yeah, once we count all the numbers, then we break and we return the answer. I had a miss. I had a typo uh, where I forgot to consider the entire array, so that was just a silly mistake. But yeah, but basically, this current is the current min, and the min is just basically either the left, the min of the left, or the min of the right, right? Because you know that min is at one of those endpoints. So that's why I have the current. And then this is just to get the um, the area, if you want to call it, the maximum score, which is um, this is the width times this is the the minimum, which is what we're getting. Uh, and this is the answer. You take the max, and then you just return the answer at the way end. Um, yeah, so this algorithm, algorithm is going to be linear time because we look at each number in the index or each number in the array uh, constant number of times once going left once going right uh, well not even the same number just each number gets scanned once in this loop and then here it gets you know if you look at each for this this loop only uh, this while loop only happens all of n times because um, because uh, the, you know it starts with length one and then start and then length two, and then length three, and then so forth, all the way to length n after n iterations. So yeah, so this is all of n time, all of n space, given that I have the um, I have the min, and I don't think, to be honest, you even need this. Uh, looking back, uh, you could kind of keep a running tra um, 
you could, you could do something that's like a running count, keeping track of things along the way. Um, I think the way that I did it um, was more intuitive to me while I was thinking about it. Um, cause I, and also, because um, I wasn't able to, I think when I was solving it during live during the contest, I didn't want to prove it exactly. So I, I kind of, I and I figured that if I had a solution, it would need this anyway. So that if this was wrong, I still had this to kind of work around with. Um, you know, to build off. Uh, I would also say if you watch, you could watch me solve this live next. And I actually have, you know, you could watch maybe near the end of that live video to see how I debug. Um, Cause I got a long away, like an N is equal to 500 elements and I had an error, I didn't know how to debug it. So you could see how my dot process and how I debug that um, because, you know, every minute counts, even though it was a little rough, but yeah. Um, that's all I have for this problem. You can watch me solve it live next. Mm, people already finished. Wow. Okay, what's K? Men of uh, where the hell does K come from? This is just a silly definition of good, but okay. This is like a mono repo thing, mono Q thing or whatever. How do I combine it here?
Come on. Oof. Thought that would be right, to be honest. Oh, if they're equal, what would I do if they're equal? Hmm. I guess if they're equal, it shouldn't matter. Why, why did I get this wrong? Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Damn. This play I want to don't know how deep about this bit. It was a mistake. What? It's by the last number? Did I have it off by one of the last number? That is weird. Oh. That is dumb. I am a dummy. Okay, uh, that five minutes. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem set. Uh, it seems like it's been it's slightly easier than usual. But uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and you know you take care of yourself. Uh, and yeah, to good health, to good mental health. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.